Hi everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to jump in and kind of show you guys something that's really interesting. I have been wanting to grow my plants super, super big. That's kind of my goal I'm looking for right now. I have a bunch of pothos, pothos, whatever you call them. I have a bunch of them and I have a bunch of other plants too. But what I've been reading and researching, growing your plants up like on a trellis definitely completely transforms the leaf size. So I went on Etsy and I bought these tiny little trellises for some of my small plants that I want to trellis up and kind of get these leaves humongous because I've seen someone, which I'm gonna insert a picture here, her pink princess is humongous, humongous. And that's the goal for mine of philodendron white wizard that I got on Etsy. And I really want to grow her to be big. She's super small right now, but hopefully by this time next year, she'll be big. But I'm going to show you what I did. So I got these trellises off of Etsy. I filled them up with sphagnum moss and I am searching and seeking that they're going to be massive. So I'm just going to show you kind of what I have right now. And and the next clip you'll see that I got my bigger moss poles in that with stagnant moss and I'm going to be attaching my monstera and other monstera type forms of monstera onto moss uh, poles. So I'm excited about that, but that'll be the next clip. But this one, here's one of my mini little pink princesses. She's super tiny right now, but she has been growing like crazy. And look at that beautiful leaf. She's definitely been transforming. And these are the tiny trellises I was telling you about that are filled with moss, um, sphagnum moss in there. And this is just going to allow the plant to attach onto it. If you have ever seen any pink princesses, they have little roots that come out sporadically throughout the, the stem, which I'm going to show you an example. And those are what I want to attach to this moss pole. So that's for my little pink princess. Here is my philodendron white wizard. And they have one also that's called a white princess, but this is not a white princess, this is a white wizard. And I've attached her to here too so that she can grow up this moss pole. And they're so like, they're literally the perfect size for starting. Uh, starter plants so that they can train them as they're little to go up and as they get older or as they get bigger I'm going to attach bigger moss poles to them and this is my baby this is my pink princess she is my bigger one I have her on a moss pole too um, this is the one where I got my cutting from the little one it, the little one was growing at the bottom and I cut her off and grew roots into her so I can make her bigger. She was lacking color on her leaves. So when I went ahead and chopped her roots off and started over, somehow that made it to where her leaves started to get more color in them. So as you can see, every leaf that she has here has color on it, which is great. And even this new one that's coming out has color. So I'm excited for her, she's doing great. And uh, that's about it. That's all I wanted to show you, just the moss pole. Um, in the next clip, you will see me going ahead and trellising up my other plants with my bigger moss poles I bought. Hey guys, so my moss poles just came in. They are from Forging Fosters off of Etsy. And I am so excited. I've been waiting for these things to come in the mail all week. Wow. Oh, and not only that, these are actually uh, stackable. Say you have a big plant, like I'm gonna be moss pulling up my beautiful Monstera over there. And these are basically just about all the same size and you can just stack them on top of each other to make these bigger moss pull. This is how they go. Your two, if you see, they have a hole and then they have this stick at the end. They're actually PVC pipe and you connect them together. Which is pretty dang smart, if you ask me. Oh, no wonder. Ooh, okay, so I'm not gonna completely open it. But, this is what they look like. 
which is pretty awesome. Once you wet them, they're not going to be as flaky, but that's pretty cool. Hey guys, obviously it is a new day. Um, I'm a busy woman, so my schedule's a little limited. I want to go ahead and use my new moss bowls I got to stake up this one. This is one of my golden pothos. She has been thriving. She is beautiful. I decided to try to um, trellis her up with like a normal moss pole, but it hasn't been working as well. So I'm thinking with my new moss poles, I can make her fabulous. Again, the goal is to have huge, massive leaves. So that's what I'm going for. I did go ahead. The way I attached her was to attach her with some zip ties and she has been loving this. I mean, although so there's no roots that have attached to this moss pole, you can tell that they can and they are able to. So I am going to start taking her down. I'm gonna take her down from the bottom up and that is just me going in with my scissors and taking out all of these little um, zip ties I have placed here. This is about to get really messy. So I can always use it for something else, but so far it hasn't been doing anything for me. I'm trying to think if I should just repot it all the way. Put the moss pole in and then repot. But I'm not sure. She loves it in there. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is one of them, a couple of them that were on the trellis. Now this was a baby propagation, so I have quite a few little propagations going on around the house with these pothos and um, this was just a baby one and it was all me just rooting it with water first and then going ahead and putting them all together in a pot and leaving it outside for the summer basically. One way to know that your plant is doing really good is by looking at the roots. So after I washed her off, I can't, she's, she has formed such a good root system that I can't, I can't break her apart. She's not letting go of her friends. Um, but if you can see, all of these roots are pure, like almost white. White roots, white roots are good roots. That means that she doesn't have any root rot. I'm not overwatering. I'm not underwatering. So this is great for her. That means she's going to last a long time. Okay, so my moss bowl has been wet. It's no longer going to flake on me. And now I'm going to strategically place this in a part of the plant that I want. I don't want to put it too far in the back and I don't want to put it too far in the front. So here, it's very stable. This pot is a terracotta pot. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a heavy durable pot for your, and the bigger your moss pole is, the more your plant's gonna grow and the heavier it's gonna be and one quick of air, gust of air and your plant's gonna be knocked over. So I'm gonna take my, I'm trying to think if I wanna take my longest string of leaves or my shortest string of leaves. I'm gonna do, when you are wrapping your moss pole around, you should make sure that you can definitely see on your plant if there's little roots coming out. And I'll do a close up of these in a little bit. And you gotta wrap those around where the wet moss pole is. And this is just gonna make sure that it stays tightly wrapped around. So I'm just gonna place my my branches around this and then I'm going to zip tie that piece. I'm going to water her and then make sure she's fully uh, hydrated and then I'm going to place her back up there where I had her and she's going to continue to grow. But that's about it so now I'm just going to put her away and then I am going to go ahead and start trellising up my other plants.
We're gonna be adding a lot of new plants on moss poles. So this is just basically gonna be a portion of the video where I stay pretty quiet and just plant pots or pot plants.